And um, basically, we are on number 16C, Overton Wildlife Management Area Interpretive Center, Conservation Education Chief uh, Teresa Moella. Gosh darn, I'm just Moyola. It took me a week. Moyola, Moyola, Moyola. Okay, I'll get it. Uh, in accordance with the commission's uh, request, Chief Moyala will uh, provide an update on the Overton Interpretive Center. Uh, thank you for the record, Teresa Moyola, Conservation Education Chief. Um, with the Overton Wildlife Center, the uh, project was originally to consist of planning, design, permitting, site preparation, and constructive construction of an interpretive center building along with related site improvements and utility upgrades at Overton Wildlife Management Area in Southern Nevada. Um, the proposed 4,900 square foot modular structure was to include a management area interpretive education visitor center, interpretive exhibits, as well as three staff offices to be operated and maintained by the Nevada Department of Wildlife. Uh, the project was also to include site planning and design for the remainder of the eight acre parcel, which was to include such aspects as a parking lot, an interpretive pond area, trails with interpretive plaques, and picnic areas. A technical review team of agency staff, a former wildlife commissioner, and a representative of the Clark County Advisory Board were to provide input into the ongoing design decisions. Um, in 2006, an initial contract was awarded to PBS and J contractors to complete the design, architecture, and engineering phase of the project. In addition to the design build of the center, PBS and J would also handle the drainage study, soil report, pad preparation, grading, drainage, and architectural renderings. At the time, it was estimated that the project would cost around $1.5 million, and construction was set to begin in June of 2009. Um, as the planning phases moved forward, the agency was notified that Clark County would require left and right turns lanes, as well as their corresponding deceleration lanes on the Moapa Valley Boulevard, which also is called State Highway 12. Um, in addition, we learned that the water district would require additional water infrastructure from Overton south to the Interpretive Center. The cost of these unexpected requirements made the price for completing the center untenable. Uh, in the summer of 2010, the project was put on hold. PBSNJ had completed the design and engineering phases and provided NDA with the respective documents and plans in the event that the project would be considered in the future. Um, I provided for you guys in the supplemental material the last two pieces of correspondence that were between my predecessor and PBSNJ. Yeah, PBSNJ um, detailing the costs for just planning for the additional requirements of left and right turn lanes and additional water infrastructure. Uh, at that point, we announced that the project was not gonna move forward and it has since been on hold. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we had, um, well, let me ask if, does any commissioners uh, have any uh, comments or uh, questions of, of Teresa? with regard to the status of the interpretive center? The, the only thing I would say is uh, the feasibility being as they close that ramp there at uh, the lake. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anybody that goes down there anymore. You know, I mean, if this was going to be something for the kids, you know, like to take bus tours out there, I think it'd be a great thing. But this is way too much money. And uh, Clint Bentley gave a presentation at the last cab meeting uh, were you there yeah yeah you remember that yeah. and uh he, he said something about three hundred thousand or something to to do the whole thing what they wanted to do this thing got way out of hand so but yeah. what he didn't discuss was the uh because closing that launch ramp uh that eliminate all the people going through there you know the boat traffic um I don't know whether it's feasible anymore. Okay, uh, Commissioner McNinch. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Teresa, do you have, maybe I missed it, but do you have roughly numbers? I mean, I know it's expensive for those, for the additional items that were unanticipated. Mm -hmm. Is there a number on turn lanes and what it would cost to do those? There was not. Um, when I looked through the correspondence between my predecessor and the contractor, even the amount of money it was going to cost to do the planning, for those lanes and for the water project exceeded the amount of money that we had. So um, I've provided it in the supplemental material. It was $22,000 alone 
just for like the new water hookup that the Overton Water District wanted us to put in. So we didn't even move forward in planning for those because we couldn't afford the planning phase, let alone what it would actually have been to build that turn lane. Right. Okay. And I, and I think that it, there was at one point plans to have, and I think it's still part of the plan to, to bring it in, to bring in p kids and, and have that as an interpretive center. Is that still part of the plan of the design of the facility? Well, the facility was a 4,900 square foot modular building uh, on an eight acre parcel. And so right now the parcel is unimproved and there's nothing on it. Right. I mean, it adjoins the, um, wildlife management area, but that additional parcel, to my knowledge right now, is completely unimproved. Okay, but I mean, in terms of the future plans, it was intended to, to bring in buses and Yes, kids. absolutely. The, the initial plan was to put that modular structure as an interpretive center and to make some graded trails and ponds and like a hunter education trail. That was part of the initial uh, plan for that site. And if I could just follow up one more thing. The right next door to it, there was a, there's a property, is that Parson? They own the property there, and at one time there were discussions on. Um, they had a lot of water, and uh, that there were discussions on uh, coordinating some kind of buyout of, of the neighboring <coughs> property that might help facilitate. Maybe it, it could lessen some of the issues that are going on with this right here. And I didn't know what the, if there was a, any change in that. It's been so long. I'm trying to pull from my memory a little bit. Boy, and I, I don't know about that, that yeah, piece. That was the Pier property? Pier, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, and uh, his ask was astronomical, so it wasn't feasible. And the other, yeah, there's, you know, what came with that was he insisted on his orchard to be part of the land deal. We didn't want to be, you know, taking out orchard or managing orchard on top of it. It was, it, it just didn't pencil out. The appeal to the property was that there was as much wildlife using his property as there was on the management. Be because he feeds them. Because more. He, because of the because of what he's done to his property <laughs> and how he's got it set up. But point is, is that there was appeal to it. Although I do remember there being a and he, he's out of like the Bay Area. Is that right? <coughs> California. Yeah. All right. <coughs> well, <clears throat> I can tell you that this is a. This is an item of interest to uh, to the uh, you know residents and the, and the sportsmen of Clark County, and so uh, uh, I don't know I don't know if there's anything we can do. Um, uh, you know, it, it sounds like um, what, what was the decision on the these infrastructure items? It was the county, or was it actually the the the, the Overton? Um, uh, I believe it was the county. It was the county? The, this, this turn lane thing came out of the blue. It yeah. was a strong arm tactic, as far as I'm concerned, to get that built um, on our backs and the sportsmen's backs. Um, it just took, took the price right out of That's the same information I found going through the files, is that the, the road, the, the turn lanes, were a county request, and the water was an Overton request. So there's actually, but the, the most expensive piece that turn lane and the road work came from Clark County. Okay. Question? What, uh, let me just uh, finish my comment here. Okay. Um, the, uh, I think one of the things that the Clark County cab is going to uh, uh, take on is uh, uh, maybe uh, 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 going to our uh, uh, county commission. Um, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the good things to come out of, uh, uh, of the trapping issues we've had down there in Clark County is, is that uh, we've become engaged now with our county commission. And uh, and so you know that's a two-way street in my book. And so uh, you know now that we've uh, you know uh, got access to them, I, I think we're gonna uh, maybe look at this issue and uh, and uh, let them know what the sportsmen want and uh, and see if we can't uh, you know maybe turn the tables on that a little bit and see if we can't get something done. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, I think uh, Mr. Dixon will probably be in contact with uh, the department. Uh, and uh, getting some information, and then uh, you know we'll uh, we'll kind of keep you guys apprised of uh, of what the uh, county um, uh, county commission you know could potentially do for us. So, Mike, okay. Just you might mention one other thing: <coughs> the uh, Southern Nevada Public Lands Man Public Lands Management Act dollars because there's yeah let me the slowing in housing. Yeah, let me. Uh, at the county advisory board meeting, there was some. Uh, we had, we did have um, the one of the representatives from uh, uh, Commissioner Chris Gianculiani's uh, office uh, 
uh, mentioned that uh, that the next round of uh, SNP money was was coming up, and that uh, even though there she made it very clear that they couldn't do a eight or nine million dollar building, uh, but uh, that there might be like a half a million dollars uh, for a project uh, that could you know in other words that we might be able to get access to about a half a million dollars. Uh, that kind of seems to be the 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 the, the threshold for dollars uh, out of that program, and so uh, obviously it's it, it's not enough to build the whole you know or I mean it, it it's it's good, you know, that you get a half a million dollars. I guess it might help out. So, anyway, so we'll that that'll be another thing we'll we're you know we'll be pursuing as well. Uh, Commissioner Rain. No, thank you. This question on that is this being a state highway. Generally, NDOT has jurisdiction over state highways. Are we certain it's the county, and it's not in not Department of Transportation. Well, they work together. Because NDOT, I mean, and I don't know how Clark <laughs> County works. As far as that goes, but generally NDOT has a very strict set of rules, and I've you know they've run into man if you start, they they stick with it, and if it, if this is an NDOT type project, and I've run into some stuff done out there, and I mean you're talking wild numbers, half million bucks, you know it's not uh, you know maybe I'm off by twenty percent uh, on the low side, but I'm not, it could be way more than that, but it likely likely would be Department of Transportation. Just throwing that out there, you know, go talk county commission. Might want to ask them, make sure who it really. Well, we is have we have all the information. Yeah. Yeah, and I was going to say there is some information in the back of materials that I provided, and it talks about it does talk about the uh, RTC of Southern Nevada as well as um, some requirements from NDOT in there. So actually, there's it talks about both in this backup oh. material in here. Okay. Mr. Yeah, Chairman, I've, I've dealt with NDOT a ton in my prior jobs and. Zero flexibility. I mean, improving the roads in front of the Reno Sparks Convention Center. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. We, it was. There's zero flexibility. <coughs> Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, if I could just add one other um, issue that we discussed when uh, we mothballed this was um, concern about our ability to staff it. Um, you know, our general wildlife uh, program has been cut with the loss of general funds, and we really weren't sure how we were going to do that. So if, if we do get this moving forward, that will be something we'll have to address, too. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any other uh, questions, comments uh, with respect to uh, the Overton Wildlife Management Area Interpretive Center? Okay. Seeing none, I'll go ahead and move on. Uh, this will be... Uh